So hi everyone. In this particular tutorial, we will be walking through some important hyperparameters that one should know to improve their RAG retrieval system to talk to your external documents. So we won't be diving much into the codes of how to set up a RAG, but only focusing towards the hyperparameters that should be used. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to pip install all these requirements as you can see, Langchain, Langchain Community, Core, Chroma DB, Google Gen AI because I am using the free API key for the LLM and the embedding model. So if you don't know in RAG you need to have two models. One is to generate the embeddings to store in the vector DB you are using and second is the LLM. Now once done we would be setting up our vector DB first by inserting text from a text file graphrag.txt that I have created just for demonstration purposes and inserting it into a vector DB object. So here you can see that I have created a vector DB object client and collection so now this is the most important part of this tutorial that we are uh, going through it so first of all after loading the chroma vector db the most important hyperparameters that would be used are in two spaces one is the retriever part that would be interacting with the vector db to fetch out the most relevant information and a second one is the retrieval qa chain so basically the lm would be interacting with the retriever on how the interaction should happen that would be a major important parameter chain type that I would be discussing. So first of all discussing about the hyperparameters used in retriever. The first one is the search type. So how the search should work in the vector DB. So I think before jumping onto this tutorial, I'm assuming you know how RAG works. So basically in working of RAG, you would be giving a prompt through the LLM. The LLM would be rephrasing it and hitting the retriever. That would be searching through the vector DB to get to the most important, most relevant text from the vector DB that you have prepared. So search type basically implements that how the retrieval should happen. So search type is similarity score threshold. So if as you must have understood by default the algorithm uses cosine similarity if I tell you and here is the threshold that we have set up. So at times you want to extract more information uh, even the slightest of similarity text is present you want to fetch that out. So in that case you need to set up a score threshold as you can see. If a low score threshold is set up even minor similarity text would be fetched out and you can see some more comprehensive answer at times garbage results as well. If you set up the score threshold to be very high you would be getting uh, output from the vector db that would be highly similar. So in that case you might be missing out on the important information also at times you won't be getting a comprehensive answer but can be a great tool if you increase the score threshold by a uh, very high when you're going for a very objective answers one word answers you are looking for a fact in the vector db another most important parameter is k so k is basically how many entities how many rows should be extracted from the vector db to be sent to the llm so that the llm rephrases everything and then sends it back to the user so k equals to 7 means at max 7 outputs should be given back to the user who is asking for who is providing you the prompt now this number can be played around so if a threshold is 0 0.3 and k is 7 that means you can send out maximum of 7 outputs who are having a similarity score greater than 0 0.3. If you don't have a uh, 7 documents who have a similarity score more than 3 so the maximum number of samples which are matching the threshold would be sent out. It can be 3, it can be 4 but maximum it can be 7. So well, these are the two ma 3 major important parameters that you can set up in the retriever. Coming to the chain type that you are creating using lang chain. So chain type is very important parameter. It tells you the information that you have got from the vector db. How the LLM should use it. So chain type stuff. There are other two more options. One is called as map reduce and third one is called as refine. So in case of stuff, every text that has been sent by the vector db is sent as it is to the LLM. Ki, uh, provide answer to the question given the prompt. And these are the seven context lines that we have retrieved from the retriever and now you rephrase the answer. In case of map reduce, this doesn't happen. So map reduce, what it does, it will be summarizing all the outputs that we have got one by one document by document that output that you have got and then merge them together. So in case of map reduce can be a great help when you are fetching a lot of data from the retriever. Do remember this because assume k equals to 1000. Now, if you provide 1000 sentences as it is to the LLM, the LLM might be not be able to perform that well. So in that case, map reduce can be a good help where it would be subsegmenting the inputs that you are getting from the vector DB and then summarizing them all and then 
combining all the summaries together and then sending it back to the LLM. So multiple iterations of LLM would be happening. In case of stuff, there would be just one iteration of LLM that would be happening because you are sending all the context from the vector DB at once. In case of map reduce, multiple because you first would be summarizing all the documents separately and then combining them together to again send it back to the LLM. Now third type of chain is refine. So in that case, you are improving the summary on the go. So you are reading one document, preparing a summary, you are reading the second document, you are improving on the summary that you have prepared. So it's more of a iterative manner of generating the summary. So comparative to map reduce, the number of hits should be smaller, but it would be still higher than chain type stuff. So if you are not fetching much data, I think chain type stuff is pretty good. Else go for map reduce or refine. So these are some of the very important parameters that you should be knowing. First is search type, search keyword argument, that is K, how many parameters to extract? What is the threshold to check for similarity? If the threshold is very high, you would be getting very exact answer. And the fourth one being chain type. And then your rack retrieval system should improve. If not, you can even use lang graph. One of the use cases I've already explained in my previous videos, how lang graph can be leveraged to play around with the hyperparameters to rephrase the output, to rephrase the input prompt, etc. So this is how rack framework can be improved by playing around with the important hyperparameters. Thank you.